fate of the Art of Covenant. Imagine receiving an order from God directly, and he instructs you to build something in a specific manner. What incredible significance would that thing hold in your life? Well, something similar happened several centuries back, when Moses was commanded by the Most High to construct the Ark. What is the significance of the Ark? Where was it last seen? What is the final fate of the Ark of the Covenant? Hold on, we will find the answers to all of these questions in today's video. So watch till the end to explore this new topic and hit the subscribe button if you want to unlock new mysteries with us. For ages, theologians and archaeologists have been captivated by the mystery of what happened to the Ark of the Covenant. It's difficult to imagine a more fascinating thing than the Ark, a box reputedly created according to God's commands. It was the most holy vessel for the Israelites. However, despite appearing prominently in the Bible during the five books of Moses, the Ark vanishes from the biblical narrative after the books of Chronicles, leaving its destiny infuriatingly uncertain. As mentioned in the book of Exodus, the Ark was built by trained and hard-working workmen who carefully made use of acacia wood and gold. Furthermore, it held the two stone tablets containing the Ten Commandments. Indeed, it held an enormous value for God as well as his people. However, according to the New Testament, it was also composed of Aaron's rod and a container of manna. Generally, the Israelites carried the ark during their wars. It was seen to be a strong sign of God's existence and their assistance. They felt pride as they held the ark by their side. According to the biblical account, the sages of Israel opted to bring the ark out onto the battlefield to help them in their fight against the Philistines. Unfortunately, their luck wasn't so kind to them. They were badly defeated by 30,000 soldiers. This defeat resulted in a great loss, certainly not a good time to be remembered by the Israelites. Taking advantage of the defeat, the Philistines seized the ark. They moved the sacred ark to several locations around their land. However, it appeared that it didn't belong to them. Every time they moved the ark to a different place, each time they met with calamity. For instance, when it was installed in the temple of Dagon at Ashdod, Dagon was discovered horizontal, bending down before it the next morning. Moreover, after being raised to his position, he was found prostrate and shattered the very next morning, once again. In the 18th year of his reign, King Josiah of Judah directed that the Ark of the Covenant be returned to the temple in Jerusalem. However, as history tells, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon conquered Jerusalem and destroyed the temple 40 years later. Later on, he captured what remained in the temple and then burned the city down. So what happened to the ark? Was it captured by Nebuchadnezzar or was it destroyed along with the city? According to scripture, the final known and confirmed location of the genuine ark of the covenant was at the tent tabernacle that King David constructed for it in the city of David, also known as Zion. There is additional mention of it in the scripture, but there is no definitive accounting of its location after the completion of Solomon's temple. That's how the Bible mentions it. The ark was stored in the tabernacle's Holy of Holies and then in Solomon's temple. The real ark of the covenant was undoubtedly in the tent tabernacle in the city of David. However, after that point, the precise location of the genuine ark of the covenant becomes ambiguous. So what are your thoughts about the final fate of the Art of Covenant? Comment down your beliefs and subscribe to our channel because we unlock new mysteries every week.